What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we got Brandon Marshall through the years from his time in college all the way up to Madden 18 with the New York Giants. Now anyways man, we're going to kick things off in NCAA 2003 where he is a freshman coming in at 59 overall, 73 speed, 45 awareness, agility is at 73, 76 acceleration, catches at 63, an 80 jump rating and then he comes in with a 45 break tackle rating as well his freshman numbers look like this he played in nine games caught just two passes for 18 yards do the math that is a average of nine yards per catch zero tds he also ran the ball one time for negative six yards which gives him a grand total of uh 12 yards from scrimmage for his freshman year not the best it could have been worse Let's move on to year number two. Into the play 04, Brandon Marshall comes in at 75 overall with an 84 speed rating, 62 awareness, 82 agility, 85 acceleration, 70 catch, 88 jump, and then a 54 break tackle. His sophomore numbers look like this. He played in 12 games, caught a grand total of 28 passes for two TDs. He also got 377 receiving yards for an average of 13.5 yards per catch, one carry, for eight yards so a big improvement a big improvement and then things start to get weird i don't know if you know because we all know he does have a mental disease i want to say again he has managed it beautifully he is not somebody that is a off the field risk anymore in my opinion but this year was a little bit weird so follow me he's 84 overall in NCAA 05 but he was like a third string receiver 88 speed, 78 awareness, 86 agility, 90 acceleration, 84 catch, 94 jump, 82 break tackle. He was the number one receiver overall wise, but he was the third string. Then we look at his numbers, right? Check him out. His junior year, he played in 10 games, caught just eight passes for 84 yards, averaging 10.5 yards per catch, zero TDs, and no carries on the ground for the first time in his career. I don't know why it's that way, but that's just his numbers. Now, in this game, he's wearing 81, but I changed it to 6 because he did wear 6 for at least one year in his college career, so I figured we might as well let him wear 6 this time around. He's 85 overall with 88 speed, 82 awareness, 86 agility, 90 acceleration, 86 for that catching. That jump rating is at 92 and a break tackle rating of 62, but it gets the job done. Now, he played in 13 games and caught 74 passes. That's more like it for 1,195 yards, averaging 16.1 yards per catch, 11 TDs, one carry for three yards. His totals look like this, caught 112 passes in his career for 1,674 yards, averaging 14.9 yards, three TDs, three carries for five yards. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, 13 TDs. Did I say three? I meant 13 if I said three. My apologies. Anyways, man, after all this is said and done, he is drafted in the fourth round to the Denver Broncos pick 119 and of course he's 75 point 75 overall in the play I thought that was ironic so I put 75 I could have just put seven you know 75.7 but I decided to put 77 I mean 75 I don't know why I just feel like doing it anyways Madden 07 he's 72 overall as a rookie his speed is at 87 that awareness is at 45 60 for that stiff arm 87 for that agility, 88 for that acceleration, 77 catch, 93 jump. I thought that stiff arm rating was a little bit low, but again, he was just a rookie, so I'm not going to be too mad at EA Sports. Anyways, he played in 15 games, started one game, was targeted 37 times, caught 20 passes for 309 yards, and of course got two TDs, broke off a 71 yard and averaged 20.6 yards per game. 80 overall in Madden 08 for Brandon Marshall. 90 speed, 91 acceleration, 86 elusiveness, 82 catch, 78 route running, 75 catch in traffic, and 82 spectacular catch. Now, I find that his elusiveness was a little bit too high, in my opinion, because he really wasn't the most elusive guy. He could break tackles, usually with the stiff arm, you know, a little shimmy here and there, but it's mostly powering through people. Anyways, man, for his second year, his numbers look like this. Played in all 16 games, started all 16 games, was targeted 170 70 times, caught 102 passes for a grand total of 1,325 yards, also had seven TDs. Madden 09, 93 overall for Brandon Marshall, 92 speed, 93 acceleration, elusive is at 95, 89 catch, 88 route running, 90 catch and traffic, 95 spectacular catch as well. His third year numbers look like this. He played in 15 games, was targeted 181, 
181 times. Golly. He caught a grand total of 104 passes on those targets. Also for 1,265 yards, averaging about 12.2 yards per catch and 6 TDs. Madden 2010, where they finally got his face right. He is 92 overall with 88 speed. Elusiveness went from 95 down to 65. So somebody working for EA Sports is filling me on that. 88 for his stiff form, which I agree with because, again, him and Steve Smith and T.O., when they caught the ball, they were looking to give you the five fingers to the face. 89 catch, 88 route running, 90 catch in traffic, and then a 95 spectacular catch. And like I said, with that stiff form, the five fingers to the face. All right, let's move on to his real-life numbers, right? They look like this. He played in 15 games. Said he only started 13 of those games, which I find kind of weird. But, again, he has some off-the-field issues, so maybe they disciplined him. I do not remember. 154 targets for 101 receptions, 10 TDs, and 1,120 receiving yards. But now he is a Miami Dolphin, where he's 96 overall in the Madden 90. Madden, I'm about to say Madden 98. Madden 11 with 88 speed, 89 acceleration, a stiff form of 88, and that's going be a theme 97 catch 93 right running 99 catch in traffic a 99 catch in traffic throw that ball wherever he gonna come down with it and a 91 spectacular catch first year with miami played in 14 games uh caught 86 passes for 1014 yards three tds and average 72.4 yards per catch let's move on to madden 12 which this is one of his best renders in my opinion on the Xbox 360, where he is 92 overall with 88 speed, 87 acceleration, 85, 85. Where do you see 85 at? 88 stiff form. Like I said, it was a theme, and again, I messed it up on the next one. Anyways, though, 96 catch, 90 route running, 97 catch in traffic, and then the 87 spectacular catch. So when we look at his numbers for his last year in Miami, they look like this. He caught a grand total of 81 passes in 16 games for 1,214 yards, averaging six, t averaging six TDs, averaging 15 yards per catch, six TDs, and a grand total of 75.9 yards per game. Now he's a Chicago Bear, back with Jay Cutler. And he's 91 overall with the Bears in Madden 13, 88 speed, 86 acceleration, 88 for that stiff form, 91 catch, 92 route running, 96 catch in traffic, and then an 86 spectacular catch rating as well. For his first year in Chicago, his numbers look like this. They threw him the ball a career high 192 times, and he caught a career high 118 passes for a career high 1,508 yards, 11 TDs as well. And he had all pro honors for the first time in his career. He's been to the Pro Bowl a bunch, like in 08, 09, 11. But 2012, which would have been Madden 13, made all pro honors. First team all pro for my man, Brandon Marshall. 95 overall in Madden 25, next gen on the PS4. 88 speed, 87 acceleration, 88 for that stiffy. And when I say stiffy, I mean stiff arm for all the perverts out there 94 catch 98 route running 97 catch in traffic and then a 90 spectacular catch as well now back with the bears played in 16 games was targeted 164 times caught 100 passes for 1295 yards averaging 13 yards per catch 12 tds and 80.9 yards per game madden 15 he comes in at 96 overall with 88 speed not 87 acceleration 88 stiff arm 98 catch 98 routing 99 catch in traffic 89 spectacular catch and a lot of these games his release or his break press rating was in the high 90s i'm talking about 95 to 99 consistently consistently anyways for his third year with the chicago bears in his last year with the chicago bears he played in 13 games caught 61 passes on six uh, on 106 targets 106 targets but only 61 receptions that's not that great eight tds 721 receiving yards as well and he averaged a grand total of 55.5 yards per game but now he's a new york j-e-t-s jets 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 with o del beckham on the cover and he comes in at 89 overall 82 speed 84 acceleration 87 stiff form 90 catch 85 route running 96 catch in traffic 87 spectacular catch as well now when we look at his real life numbers for his first year with the jets he did some pretty nice things played in all 16 games caught 109 passes for 1502 yards a league high 
14 TDs. This is the first time and only time in his career so far. We don't know what's going to happen next year if he decides to play or if a team just, you know, picks him up or if the Giants keep him. Whatever happens. This is the first time and only time so far in his career that he led the league in any category. And this time it's with TDs with 14. Now, in Madden 17, still with the New York J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. He's 89 overall with 87 speed, 85 acceleration. Stiff arm is at 87. 92 catch, 89 route running, 96 catch in traffic. A spectacular catch rating of... 994. About to say 98 again. I'm sorry. I need glasses, y'all. I need glasses. Anyways, man. When you look at his real life numbers, they look like this. It was targeted 128 times and caught just 59 passes. That is really not good. He also got three TDs, had 788 receiving yards, averaging 13.4 yards per catch, and 52.5 yards per game. Again, not not really the best numbers. I mean Brandon Marshall, I guess, you know, and, and the Jets, you know, they, they had QB issues, to say the least. I have to say the least. Anyways, Madden still felt like he was a pretty good receiver, so he's 85 overall in Madden 18, even though that year with the Jets was pretty bad. 86 speed, 85 acceleration, 88 stiff arm, 86 catching. He also comes in with an 87 route running, 94 catch in traffic, and a 92 spectacular catch. His numbers in just five games look like this. He caught 18 passes for 1,000. For, for 1,000, really 18 passes for 154 yards, zero TDs, broke off 18 yarder, and averaged about 30.8 yards per game for the New York G Men. So far in his career, he has caught a grand total of 959 passes for 12,215 yards and 82 TDs. And of course, he's 89.1 overall in Madden so far. And I'm getting a lot of requests for Odell Beckham Jr. I don't have a problem doing Odell Beckham Jr. I know some people do. Again, I don't have a problem with it. Some people want to see it. So you guys can expect the Odell Beckham Jr. video coming soon. Don't know when, though. Don't know when, but probably pretty soon because I really don't have a problem with doing any and everybody. But I do have to knock out some older players before I get to Odell Beckham Jr. So expect the video on him pretty soon. But again, no guarantees on when it's going to be. Got a whole bunch of ideas that I have to start doing on this channel because my brain just gets filled with ideas and then I never execute them because I have another idea that pops in my head so I'm trying to do a lot better on that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I am going to bring it to you. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Awesome.